What's up everybody? Today I want to talk about the spending crisis in America. Uh, most people complain about how much money they make, that they don't make enough. But in reality, the big problem is what they're spending their money on. You'd be surprised how much money you throw away on stupid, meaningless things. It's not your income that's not letting you get ahead. It's actually your spending habits. Stay tuned for more. The median salary for U.S. works in the United States in 2016 was $44,148 a year, or about $850 a week. So your argument might be, well, $850 a week isn't much money. My argument would be, of course it's not. Uh, you got a $2,000 mortgage, you like to go out four times a week, and eating out to you is as normal as breathing. Did I forget to mention the $500 a month car loan? Because according to Dave Ramsey, the average car loan in America right now is about 500 bucks a month. But now let's say you're married or you have a domestic partner, and they too make the U.S. median salary, that's about $90,000 a year, and that's a really good income, especially if you know how to administrate and budget your money. $90,000 will get you really far. Now, going back to the $2,000 a month of mortgage, uh, many people will say, well, with what I make, I'm barely getting by. I can barely afford to pay my mortgage and bills. But no one told you to go get an expensive mortgage that you can't afford. That's way above your means. Now, if you were to stop and think and not sign the paperwork for that $2,000 a month mortgage or that overly expensive mortgage that uh, you're paying right now and you hit up maybe two three friends of yours um, or family members or a roommate now you have three to four people living in a household with a combined income of about $180,000 uh, close to $200,000 now all the bills the rent the mortgage whatever it is it all gets split into the three to four people but now your expenses are way lower than uh that mortgage you decided to take on because you decided you were a grown adult and it was the right thing to do because you thought it was the american dream let me tell you this 849 dollars a week is more than enough money for you to uh one day be able to retire rich wealthy whatever you want to call it it's just nowadays people don't want to sacrifice anything people don't know what delayed gratification is people want everything now in the moment they can't wait 10 years they can't wait five years they can't even wait a couple weeks a new phone comes out the iphone x obviously people are waiting in line a couple days before the fucking phone even comes out and uh, they have to have it even though they can't afford it they'll do the payment plan to have the damn phone in their hands people don't have to sacrifice uh their time people don't have to sacrifice having to save uh all the money to buy a certain thing because there's credit cards and with credit cards you don't need the money why pay for it cash when you could just borrow it right people like to think about how much they can afford per month and they don't like to think about can i even afford it can i afford to pay it cash america is the land of opportunity there is so many jobs out there i can't help but to notice all the opportunity that there's in this country there are many jobs that pay extremely well and pay over the median salary everywhere you go and the and the beautiful thing is you don't need much more than a high school diploma for example subway operators make sixty thousand five hundred dollars plumbers make an average of fifty five thousand one hundred electricians make fifty two thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars per year and then we have positions like elevator installers or repairers that make around eighty thousand dollars a year and air traffic controllers that make about hundred and twenty two thousand dollars a year and that's with an associate's degree the thing is there's so many jobs out there that yeah they might not be a, a nine to five desk job uh, where you're inside all day and not having to worry about the weather conditions outside but there's so many jobs that yeah they required hard work and labor but they're gonna pay you well and especially if you have no college experience no college education then why the hell are you scared to go and apply for it or go go do the damn work do you want to make money or do you want to cry about how you don't make enough money you yourself chose the path of not going to school so therefore you have to pay for it by getting a job that requires more labor uh, more physical exhaustion at the end of the day there's so many job opportunities in america and there should be no excuse on anything no excuse that you're not making enough money because most Americans do make enough money. It's just that they choose to live an extravagant lifestyle uh, to impress people that they don't really like with money they don't even have yet. Let me tell you a story about two people uh, that I know. They came to America when they were in their 20s. And um, they came here without knowing any English whatsoever. Not a, not a single word. They came here with 
barely any education. They also came here illegally, which um, right away took the their opportunity of of getting high paying jobs because they weren't qualified and they weren't citizens of this country. So therefore, they came here with shitty jobs, but they did come here with one thing, and that was a, a burning desire to be something, a burning desire to work, work hard. And fast forward to today, uh, those two people are actually my parents. They found the opportunity in this country, but even at the income that they made some years, they managed to make more money than the median salary in the United States today. So my question to you is, what's your excuse? Because they didn't have an excuse. All they had was ambition. They wanted to escape their shitty situation to come here and, and start a family and give their kids something that they were never able to have. And I have to thank them every day because if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't be who I am today. I wouldn't be living here with the opportunities and all the great things that have came my way. My point is, your income or your excuses of your low income have nothing to do with why you're not getting ahead. Because if your job were to give you a raise tomorrow, a $5, a $10 an hour raise, what would you do with it? I know what you would do with it. You would go buy a better car, you'd get a bigger house, you'd go out more, and you'd get fancier, more expensive things. The thing about America is people like to spend more money than what they actually make. Thank God for credit cards, Thank God for auto loans. Thank God for mortgages. Because if it wasn't for that, people wouldn't be shit. Because majority of people finance everything up to their couches. I don't know if you know this, but the average credit card debt per household is $15,654. And that's just credit card debt. It's not Americans' fault why they're drowning in debt. It's normal to go buy a car because you need a car to get to work, right? Why the hell don't they ask you, what car can you afford to pay? to pay it in full, to pay it in cash. Because that's not normal. If you go into a dealership saying, I'm gonna pay a car in cash, that's weird, that's fucking weird. Nobody nobody says, oh, I'm gonna save up to buy a car in full. Let me ask you a question. If you had a house that's paid off, if you had a car that's paid off, if you didn't have any credit card debt, if you didn't have any student loans, how much money would you really need per month to live? Considering that the top four expenses that every American has is completely wiped out a thousand five hundred two thousand dollars have you ever took a look at how much money you actually need to live comfortably americans can keep complaining on how they don't make enough money and they can keep saying that the income they're making is not enough for them to save or it's not enough for them to get ahead but that's just a bullshit excuse because they like to play victim they don't like the idea of delayed gratification they want everything now so everyone's going to come up with the stupid ass excuse that they don't make enough money when america is the richest country in the world the opportunities here are abundant so stop taking a look at how much money is coming in a month and start taking a look at what really matters how much money is going out because chances are you're going to starbucks way too fucking much and you're eating out way too much and you're going out and partying and drinking and celebrating that you're fucking broke find things that you can't afford with money you don't have to impress people you don't like you're not making enough income which you are get a second job get a third job get off your ass stop watching tv stop wasting money on cable you don't need a thousand channels you don't need a hundred channels if anything if you want to watch some tv get a fucking netflix account so my challenge to you is to take a look at your income and take a look at your expenses for one month just do it for one month add up your expenses add up the money that comes in if you have a surplus and you're saving money then you're good. Try to aim higher in your savings rate every month, every year. But if you're in the negative every single month and you're complaining about your income, I suggest you take a look at all your expenses and you take a look at where your money went and you're gonna be surprised that, that you threw away a shit ton of money into the garbage on unnecessary shit that you don't really like but you think you like. If you like this content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Comment below if I'm missing anything. Um, if there's actually other jobs out there, there's a ton of jobs out there that pay well that don't require a college degree. Um, feel free to mention it down below. Also, give me ideas of other videos that you want me to cover. And um, fuck being average and mediocre.